Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com and uh, on this video over here I want to talk to you guys about the slabs and foundation. Uh, as you can see over here we're working on one of the, uh, the slabs that we're about to pour and we have it all prepped out and ready to go. In this video I want to talk to you about the spread footings or the exterior footings which are in this section over here. When you're preparing your slab, obviously it's very important for you to know what the finished floor elevation, which is going to be depending on how you're building your, your, your forms, most likely you will use the top of your form as your finished floor elevation. So when you have your finished floor on this section over here, you're going to pour it right to this point over here. Now, you may ask yourself, typical drawings will show you that the spread footing or the exterior footing that goes here from the slab will give you a, a depth. But what is that depth? You have to look at your structural drawings and your schedule that will tell you how deep this footing needs to go from this slab. So, one of the things that you need to determine is this. The, the typical drawings will say that the footing is, uh, let's say, 24 inches below the finished grade. Now, it's important for you to know that finished floor is not finished grade. Finished grade is the soil that is outside of the slab. Finished floor is the inside of the structure. And the reason why I mention this is because depending on the grade of the area, for example, let's say the dirt was, or the soil that was going to be against the structure was going to end up being 30 or 40 inches below the finished floor. That means that your footings are 24 inches below those 40 inches. In this case, my finished grade is only 40 inches below the finished floor. And therefore, my footings are only going to be required to be 30 inches. Well, I hope you guys helped like this video, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, check in my box below, and don't forget to check out learningconstruction.com. Thank you, guys.